Okay, it's uh, July 15th. It's high summer. The garden is uh, basically in full bloom. A few Johnny jump ups down there. Those are all mixed in amongst the yard. Along with the uh, milkweeds, the uh, irises that I transplanted look really good and they're growing. Uh, that'll be a boon for next year and uh, here's this year's uh, crowning glory, the uh, common malign plant that I uh, grew this year. The spikes are really coming out. You can find these along the highway but uh, not looking like that. That's a nice looking plant. The uh, blueberries are ripening and uh, I'm eating them as fast as I can because the birds are beating me to them, but uh, they keep the bugs down and keep me sort of uh, free from little other varmints, so we share. I got pumpkins growing in the patch. That's good because I got to come up with uh, ten of them this year. The uh, Jerusalem artichokes are getting taller than I am. I sort of have to back off to, so you can see them all. But uh, they're doing really well. I'll take a little walk over this way. I'll come into the garden from uh, the northeast, as they say. And there's plenty of uh, daisies blooming all the time. This is one of my better blueberry plants. And uh, that is one that uh, isn't going to get away. This is a pepper plant. And I have some cayenne peppers growing and uh, red peppers and green bells. And uh, let me see, got to check them out here. There's, there's nice fruit on them. Let's see what we got here. There's one. Every plant's got them, uh, little ones on there and uh, maybe another dose of miracle Grow will help the situation out. Step back, Max. Oh, Max, he likes to walk through the garden, too. Those are pumpkins over here, also. Uh, I'd have to string up my pole beans today before they uh, get away from me here. Uh, we got a few pumpkins in here. And I hope the rabbits don't eat them all. Again, here's the uh, Jerusalem artichokes from the rear. Oops, don't fall down here, Lawrence. I tell you, the raspberries are so thick this year that the uh, robins are going back to eating worms. Millions of black raspberries, red raspberries, golden raspberries. I eat them by the handfuls. And they even snuck a blackberry in here, though it hasn't bloomed yet. Again, the, uh, they're getting taller than I am. Coming into the tomato section. And this is one plant I'm sort of cultivating, keeping the suckers off of, and the rest of them I'm not. And uh, we appear to have 
a lot of tomatoes in there. I don't want to get in the way, but everything turned red there for a second. Oh. I guess it's just looking beyond things, huh? Black raspberries are real tasty. Here's the potato plants. I grew in tomato cages. Keep the foliage up off the ground so I can walk by mostly. Oh, look, it's 11 o'clock. Put the jade out from inside. Onions are doing great. Lots of onions this year. <coughs> Here's my first zucchinis coming out. Zucchinis are taking a long time to get going here for some reason today, this year. But uh, there it is. And there's the proof of the pudding of one right there. The summer squash is uh, going nuts. And we've had summer squash every night. Tastes beautiful. Now we sneak down through the uh, squash trail here. I'm into the remote part of the garden here. There's my butterfly flowers coming out, butterfly bushes. Yeah. The uh, Milkweeds are almost taller than I am. There are bee balm everywhere. Here we got uh, some of the red raspberries. And uh, there's some beautiful ones right there. And they are tasty. Lots of berries. This is my uh, mature carrot or Queen Anne's lace. And uh, they're starting to fall over a little bit and I see some are going to seed and I'm going to get rid of them so that they uh, don't cause me to have an awful lot of uh, plants in the spring. Weeds mixed in with the rest of the stuff here, and I pick them off when I can. Sunflowers are growing here and there. Out of the potato garden. This one's really laying over now that the uh, plants are getting so long. There's the uh, guy holding the uh, camera over there. See him in the TV light. Nice looking guy. There's Max looking for the rabbit. Funny luck he'll chase him away. But uh, here's the one of the mulch piles. You wouldn't believe the amount of uh, weeds that I process through here every year and change to dirt. Pretty soon it's gonna become impassable in here with the butternut squash. We'll be taking over the world. And again, we're thinking the 
potato country here. Another one of my uh, crowning achievements this year, and every so often I get a real good crop of uh, hollyhocks. I don't like to have too many in the garden, but uh, I love to have them sticking up here and there, and wherever they fall, uh, that's where they grow. And there's my little pal there. Uh, it took off. The cat bird who shares the berry patch with me. Trumpet vines, beautiful this year. We uh, cropped it back really well last year and uh, come out nice. And here we're into the purple hollyhocks. Beautiful color this year, really dark maroon. Uh, just beautiful. And we got the yellow ones over here. Hard to walk between anything anymore because the uh, vegetation is just growing everywhere. There's a big giant bumblebee. He's going to make sure I get plenty of good seeds to uh, plant out behind the fence. I'm trying to change this little place out back from just a, I don't know, little hole in the wall. One of the many mirrors I like having them around the garden because they uh, just come to your attention and uh, make the place look nice. There's another one right there. Just mirrors found here and there. Picked up at the yard sale. They last a few years and then on they go. But the garden is looking great. It's just so green. If you could just see it in the colors I'm seeing it. It's really, really sharp green. And uh, so is the lawn, which I have to get out and stop mowing before somebody kicks my butt. But uh, I'm gonna take a quick walk over to the wildflower garden that we're trying to grow over here. <laughs> and uh, my oats is in full seed. The uh, oh, different flowers are really starting to bloom. Bee balm, roses, zinnias, all sorts of stuff. It's a nice little area here, and uh, there's another little corner mirror there. And sometimes the birds fight themselves and it's uh, when they see it. But I got more pumpkins across the fence here. And they have some pumpkins on them and I want to make sure I get a bite from them. All you grandkids. Anyway, uh, that's the garden tour for July 15th. Oh. A little hard walking on the ground here. All right. I bored you long enough, but it is looking pretty. Nothing I like better than to come out here and just uh, be amongst all these different flowers and plants and enjoying the day. One last look at that beautiful common malign. That's going to leave a lot of seeds down in the uh, Duxbury Beach on our way out to Saquish. So when you see them along the beach, you'll know that I was there. That's where they've come from. 
All right, now to unload the kayak. I was two miles out to sea this morning and probably caught one pollock. That was a good time till the wind came.